Hello everybody and welcome to my Louis Vuitton YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing the much requested video on how to clean, condition, and restore your Vachetta leather on canvas bags. Um, if you've watched my videos before, you know that I have been buying, selling, and refurbishing Louis Vuitton bags for a few years now. Um, and the biggest question that I'm asked by far, hands down, is how do you clean um, and condition, restore, um, and keep this Vachetta leather on bags nice? Um, especially some of these pre-loved bags, when you get them, a lot of the times this leather isn't um, as nice as we'd like it to be because it's untreated. That's what Vachetta means, it's untreated calf leather. Um, and so it's really easy to stain, you can get watermarks on it, and over time it gets what's called a patina. So when this bag was new, this leather was white. Um, but now that this bag is a little bit older, I can't remember how old this bag is. Um, I think it's from the 80s. Um, yeah, so this bag is from 83. Um, anyway, now that this bag is older, it's got um, this yellow patina on the leather, which is normal. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you guys how to kind of restore and clean that leather. So the first thing that you need to do when you get your bag is you need to condition it. Now I use something called Apple Care brand. It looks like this. This is an eight fluid ounce bottle. I get it off of Amazon. It's like $10. It doesn't cost that much. Um, I've used Cadillac and I've used Bic 4. I find that this one works the best. A lot of people will argue and say that, you know, there's better brands out there, whatever. Honestly, whatever. Just use a conditioner, a leather conditioner for your bag um, to make your leather soft. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get some of your conditioner and you want to get a microfiber cloth. And what you're going to do is you're going to put a little bit of the conditioner on here, kind of rub it in, and then you're going to very gently get the bag kind of covered in it. Now you don't want your bag to bathe in conditioner. A lot of people will be like, you put as much conditioner on there as you can. No, you don't want your bag to bathe in conditioner because what's gonna happen is it's gonna get too wet and it's gonna crack and then you're just gonna be miserable. Um, so you just wanna kind of very gently put just a, a thin layer of this across your bag and it's going to really soak and it's going to make it nice. After you've done that, you're gonna let it sit for 24 hours or I mean, you could probably let it sit overnight, but you want to try and let it sit for 24 hours because that leather is going to soak in this conditioner and it's going to make your bag, um, it's going to help keep it from getting dried out when you clean it because a lot of the times the cleaning products are going to dry your bag out. That's just how it is. If you want clean vachetta, you might, it, it might dry it out. So, you know, to prevent that and to take an extra precaution, we're going to use this Apple Care brand. I've already done that to this bag. Yesterday, I conditioned it. It's nice and soft, um, so it's ready to be cleaned. So what we're going to be using to clean this bag today is called Kiwi Saddle Soap. Now you can get this on Amazon too for literally, again, $10. It's so cheap and it's a really easy way to clean these bags. Now a lot of people will disagree. They'll say that saddle soap is too harsh for your bag. And the reason that I disagree with that is, you know, I have family members, um, I live in Montana, so I have family members and friends that have horses and their saddles are like 10 grand. This bag was two grand and it, you know, it cost 500 when I bought it. Um, so I, I think that's ridiculous to say that it's not safe for your bags or that it's too harsh for your bags. That's silly. I've been using this, like I said, since I've been doing this and my bags always turn out beautiful and people always ask me. So here it is. I use Saddle Soap by Kiwi. Um, when you open it up, it's kind of like a wax. There's kind of a soap in here. And then what I use along with the Saddle Soap is baby wipes. Now what I have here are just Pampers Sensitive Wipes. All you want to do is make sure that it doesn't have alcohol in it because that, again, is going to dry out your bag. You just want to avoid anything that's going to dry out your Vachetta leather um, when you go to clean it. So I use these baby wipes. And what I do is I grab one of the baby wipes and then I'll get the part wet that I kind of want to work on. And so what I want to work on is kind of these strap parts here. As you can see, they're kind of blotted. They've got some stuff on them. I don't know. I already kind of clean the handles, and as you can see, they're looking beautiful. These handles are great. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to take your baby wipe, you're going to take your saddle soap, and you're going to rub it all up in this saddle soap, right? You're going to get it, the one side of it, just nice and covered in this saddle soap. And your baby wipe's obviously already wet, so it's perfect. And the reason we use baby wipes is because they're non-abrasive, and they kind of, they condition as they go. So they're really good to use on these bags. Um, but what you're going to want to do after you get that on there is literally just 
start cleaning it. Now, you don't want to spend more than about, I don't know, 30 to 45 seconds on one part of your bag because, again, we want to try and avoid um, drying it out. And if a little bit gets on your canvas, not a worry. Like, you can even clean your canvas with this, not a big deal. Um, but what you want to do is really focus on that leather. And like I said, I'm rubbing this for about 30 to 45 seconds. And what this is going to do is it's going to really even out your patina and it's going to get rid of some of those marks on there that you don't want. And what you're going to see is that you're going to get some of the stuff come off on your baby wipe. And a lot of people when they see this will kind of freak out and go, oh my gosh, I just rubbed off the patina. No, <laughs> that's not possible. You're rubbing off the dirt that you don't want on this bag. The patina is a chemical process that happens to this leather since it's untreated. It literally gets a tan. It's kind of like your skin tanning and obviously it's not the same process. But it, it's, it's the same premise. You can't wipe off your patina. So what I'm wiping off here is actually dirt and oils that have accumulated on this bag over the years. Like I said, it's from the 80s. That's crazy. This bag is 30 years old. Isn't that and it's crazy to think to me? Um, and then you want to do the same thing, obviously, for the handles. And you want to focus most on the part where the hands go because that's where the oils and the dirt and the lotions are going to get into your bag. Um, so you just want to make sure that you kind of scrub down all the leather parts of your bag. I was fortunate enough to have a bando. Um, I don't have the bando strap because it was actually really clean. Um, but you want to clean down all these parts. Anything on this bag that's leather, you want to rub it down and get it nice and clean. Now, as you can see, this got a little bit darker when I cleaned it. That's okay. It's just because it's a little bit moist. Now, what you want to do is wait for it to dry, which is going to take a few hours. Um, as you can see, I mean, it's, it's already starting to dry up. Um, as you can see, it's beautiful even. This is glowing right now, which is perfect, exactly what I wanted. And you can see the difference between the two. But when this dries, if it still isn't as clean as you wanted it to be, um, what you're going to do is you're going to condition the bag again, let it sit for 24 hours again, and then repeat the process again. It's really important that if you repeat the process twice, that you condition in between each time you do it so that you don't dry out this leather. Because if you dry out this leather, it'll crack and you're done for. Now that's not to say that you should be scared of cleaning this bag, or that you should be scared of cleaning this leather, because obviously it's easy. You just have some normal cleaning supplies and you can do it really well. Um, and you can do it very safely. But like I said, only work on the bag for 30 to 45 seconds at a time. You can scrub pretty hard because our baby wipes, they're not abrasive. Like I said, you're going to let the cleaner do the work is, is what we're doing here. Um, and then you're going to let it dry. And like I said, if it's not up to your standards, do it again. You might have to repeat these steps four or five times until you get this bag exactly where you want it. But as long as you condition in between each step and you make sure that you're just taking the time to make this bag look good. It's not, you know, it might not just look good in one cleaning. I think this one will because I got lucky with it. Um, but sometimes they're really dirty and they need cleaned a couple of times. No worries. All you have to do is condition it in between each time. Now, even if it doesn't need to be cleaned again, condition it. After you clean any of the leather, you need to condition it. That's going to keep, it's going to preserve it and it's going to just keep it nice and moist. It'll keep it from cracking. Um, it'll again, even out the patina. Um, just put, you know, another thin layer of conditioner on there after you clean it, even if you're not going to do it again. I would recommend going through the conditioning once a month, and I would recommend cleaning your bag once every few months. Um, more depending on if it's dirtier or less, depending on, you know, how much you use it. Um, but that's basically the premise behind cleaning these bags. As you can see, it's super easy. It works really well. It works every time. It's cheap. You can do it by yourself. Um, and it allows you to buy cheaper bags. You know, if you love Louis Vuitton, but you can't afford a new one. I mean, this bag, this is a Keep All 55 Bando. Like, this is the most desirable Keep All that you can get. This bag was um, very, very close to $2,000 new. I bought it for $500 because I'm not scared to clean this leather. So you just need to keep that in mind that you can't be scared to clean this leather because it's not that big of a deal. Um, I think that that's all I have to show you on this bag just because it's so simple. All you have to do is... is Wipe it down so you're going to condition it first, right? Let it sit for 24 hours. Then you're going to clean it with the saddle soap. And then you're going to condition it again. And that's all it takes. It's super easy. So if you find a bag out there that's yeah, maybe not in the best condition because this leather is dirty, do not stay away from it. Buy it. Take it in and clean it. A lot of the times what I'll do is I'll clean these bags and literally make a couple hundred dollar profit off of them. Um, so it's, it's really easy to do. Don't shy away from it. Um... 
and you can I mean you can do this to bags that are like I said this bag's 30 years old it, it needed to be cleaned so um, it's really easy don't shy away from it um, if you ever have any questions just uh, put it in the comments and I'll answer you um, if you haven't been watching my series go ahead and subscribe I have lots of Louis Vuitton videos um, and if you're looking to buy a bag, go ahead and go to my Facebook group. It's called the Louis Vuitton Gold Mine. All you have to do is send um, a request to join and I'll accept you in. Um, and I have bags for sale all the time and the other sellers have bags for sale all the time. And what's nice about that group is, is the bags come through me. I vet every bag. I make sure that it's authentic and I make sure that it's a good deal and I make sure that you're not being scammed. Um, I don't get anything out of the group other than just having a nice place to buy and sell Louis Vuitton stuff. So if you're interested in possibly buying or if you're interested in more tips, because sometimes I put tips up there and I post all my videos onto there, um, go ahead and go onto Facebook and join my group. It's called, again, the Louis Vuitton Gold Mine. Um, and I think that's all I have for this video. Again, thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested in more about Louis Vuitton, go ahead and subscribe to my channel.